Danny and welcome back to another 5M tutorial video. Today we're going to be continuing on our full set of tutorials. Uh, I know it's been a while but we're going to be continuing here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, add files to FileZilla today um, and all that fun stuff. So FileZilla, the download for that will be included in the description below if you don't know download it or where it's at or anything like that uh, but I'm not going to go over that because I I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory you download the damn thing but as far as the actual tutorial goes um, I'm gonna be starting off with zap hosting if you're not using zap hosting then you'll be able to do your own things but these tutorials are based off of zap hosting basically um, because a lot of people use zap hosting um, and if you don't then you will know what your FTP browser is I'm, I'm assuming that you uh, if you buy it from someone else, they'll tell you all that fun stuff. So if you're using Zap Hosting, you know, click on the server. You got your dashboard here. Uh, so you go ahead and scroll on down. You go to tool, under Tools. You got FTP Browser. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna be the thing that you would use for FileZilla or WinSCP. I've always used FileZilla. I love it. I've never had a problem with it. Um. I usually like to shut down the server, but it really does not matter because you can always, uh, you know, if you some for some scripts you can always uh, get in and restart them in game. But what we're gonna do here is so you have your FTP host, your FTP port, your username, and then you have your password. And your password, you can go ahead and click on this I, and it'll show your password. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead right up in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this. Copy uh, the port. And then, of course, your username is going to be the name of your account if you're using Zap Hosting. Anything else is anything else. And then, of course, you'd press this button, get your password, and then you'd connect. Alrighty, so once you get all your password, your host, your username, and your port in, you just press Quick Connect here. As you can tell, I already did. And on the right side here is going to be all of your server files. Um, and it has literally everything that your server has in it. Um, then on the left is going to be your computer file. So this is going to be for your computer, the one that you are using. So I'll show you guys how to add stuff here in just a second. But let me go ahead and show you guys just kind of um, how to get to some areas and what we can do inside of the server. So right here, you double click on that. You got this. Uh, I've always just, you know, GTA 5, 5M, and server data. Once you do that, this is whenever you really get to the server stuff. So right here is going to be your icon. I will make a video in the future on how to change your icon, but um, that is not going to happen uh, just yet. It will be probably the next video sometime soon. But yeah, so you get the server.cfg here, which you can always right click and press view slash edit to edit it here. And then you can also edit it inside of Zap Hosting under the uh, Configs tab. It'll have your um, your server.cfg right here. You just press Open File. Either way, just whatever you prefer. And then, yeah, so like I said, this is your icon. This is your server.cfg. Uh, we'll go over how to use your server.cfg here in just a minute whenever we add stuff. Um, but, ba but that's like the most important part of adding uh, resources because if you don't know how to use this, then it won't work in the server. All right, and then the part that is actually called resources is going to have all your resources in it. Now, this is a brand new vanilla fresh baby boy server here, so we have nothing in it other than nothing other than the base game shit. So, yeah, there's that, and this kind of... Game modes, gameplay, I wouldn't recommend touching any of this unless you're, like, a, a real expert. I know, like, maybe, I think I know, like, one or two different things that you can do in here, but these aren't, like, external resources. These are ones built in, so if you edit them, you can possibly break, um, possibly break your game. So, yeah, we kind of want to stay away from that. Alrighty, so now that we ha know how to, you know, get in here and use all this, uh, I went ahead and installed... This McDonald's YMAP mod, which is just like a McDonald's in the fucking game. I don't know. But um, you can install anything, and it will usually always come in a file. And then if you open that file, it'll have your stream. And then it'll have 
your resources. Or your not resources, but your resource.lua. Uh, this is just extra, depending on what you... Yeah, see, this is just extra, um, basically, for that guy's thing, so you don't need it. But these two are extremely important. You must have a resource.lua for it to stream in the server, and you must have a stream for the actual stuff to stream to the server, as it says. So, yeah. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up File Explorer here, and I'm going to go to Local Disk, okay? And then I'm going to make a file... And you can make one with the name of your server, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to call it five, I can't type, five, five, <laughs> test. Uh, so we'll go ahead and call it that. And then if you double tap in here, you can kind of organize it however you want. Usually I'll have like a this is testing, this is my main scripts, this is the, you know, so I'll have like three different things to sort them. But if you are just like testing out some things, trying to get your 5M server started, all you have to do is have one folder. Then what you'll do is you'll take... Uh, this out of WinRun, go ahead and drag it in. Once you drag it in here, then you uh, uh, you can leave it be because now that it's in here, you have the ability to use it on the left side to drag it into your server. Uh, just to refresh, you can press it up here. And then now you see 5M test. Would you look at that? We got McDonald's Y map. So to add it to the server, I would I don't I have to I don't drag it here or anything. I have to go into resources. On the server, I have to go into resources. And then I'll take this and I'll since there's no folders inside of it, just the resource and the stream, I'll take this whole thing and I'll drag it here. Now right here is the point where you want to find um figure out what you want to call it in here. Um I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, but you can literally super organized uh, so like I could just name it 5m test underscore McDonald's now always remember that um, you can't have any spaces or anything like that when it comes to it and it doesn't have to be capitalized you just can't have some symbols some you know no spaces all that type of stuff so now if this is in here it is in your server but it won't start and the reason for that is because it has to be inside of your resource.lua now, I'm going to show you how to do your, um, or not your resource, I meant your server.cfg. I'm going to show you how to do your server.cfg inside of FileZilla in case you don't have um, Zap Hosting, which I already showed you. It's just inside of configs, server.cfg, and then open file. Right here, so what we'll do is we would go back with the two dots, back again, or not back again, sorry, uh, just back one time. So we're right here, back one time, and then we'll go to server.cfg, view slash edit, okay. And then you see a whole lot of crap. Now you really don't want to touch anything, as it says right here, you probably don't want to change these, um, because it might screw up something, you know. So basically, this is the part right here. So the start map manager, start chat, start this, start that. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to tell the server when you... Uh, load it up and start it, that it, you need to start these resources. So if you have it inside of your resources folder, but not saying start here, then it won't start. So what we do is we'll just press enter, start, and then you'll type out the name of the file, which mine was 5m test underscore McDonald's. <laughs> so yeah, we got that. And then we can just press file, save. And there you go. And then you can exit out of that. And then once you go back to FileZilla, it'll say, this has been changed, just press yes. Which means that it'll update it. If you press no, then it won't, and then it'll be screwed up. And thank you guys for coming out here and watching another 5M tutorial video. We will be continuing on with this series. Sometime soon I'll be having the icon um, and, the, uh, and a few other ones as well. Also, how to make yourself an admin, work with, like, the 5M console, uh, how to make your chat box, this, that, you know, different stuff. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this series, and we'll see where it goes. Um, thank you guys, though, for, be, you know, getting our last tutorial video, the, uh, the, the well, the start of it, the uh, how to use Zap Hosting for it, as now, at, right now at this moment, almost at 500 views. So thank you guys. You guys really seem to be enjoying the 5M help, and I'm really looking forward to it because I remember back in the day whenever uh, whenever I first started, there was no one out there to help me, 
So I, uh, I uh, had a lot of trouble, had to figure it out myself. So I'm glad that I'm able to help you guys. I've gotten really positive feedback on them all. And uh, you guys aren't disliking it, aren't doing anything, you know, you guys aren't mad about it, not saying that it's bad. You guys are always saying it's helpful, good, and a great video, and I'm so happy to hear that you guys are enjoying it. So thank you guys, keep up the support, and I'll see you guys next time. Watch out.